update you know, on the progress of the East Vincent Elementary School project and share a timeline with you over the next year so that you can expect, so that you know what to expect and what will be coming for, before the board for approval. The architect, Mr. Jeff Chambers, had been meeting with the faculty regularly and the principals to get their input before school ended. And they have been designing many of those concepts into the building throughout the summer. And I'd like to review just the timeline so that you have an idea of what we're going to do next. Later this evening, after this meeting, at this, the August, at the full board meeting, the Act 34 uh, maximum building construction cost is before you for approval. That is actually a number that was calculated from Plan Cons A and B that we've already filed. So it's a calculation that PDE actually does and it's approximately $13 million for the maximum building construction cost. That doesn't include all the soft costs. So then we submit that on plan con D. So once that's approved, we then move forward with scheduling the Act 34 hearing, which we have tentatively scheduled that date for Thursday, September 26th. And that will be at the East Vincent Elementary School. We will be working closely with Dr. Christian, Mr. Chambers, Mr. Kleinfelter to lay out that evening. We anticipate that there will be lots of visuals. We'll have some building tours. We'll send out skylarks to both East Coast and East Vincent um, families <coughs> to notify them of that meeting. So that is scheduled for September 26th. On October 30th, at the October 30th board meeting, you will see the final plan con D and E for approval, and then we will submit that. Estimates and the design and development details. And in November, at the November um, board meeting, we will be submitting Plan Con F, which will be the construction documents. December, we don't anticipate having any type of action. That's our board reorganization. We don't have any type of action. We would be at that point in time going out to bid end of November, beginning of December. We would be going out to bid. Receive the bids, do the reviews, and award that contract at the end of January with the anticipated construction start date in the spring. So that we meet the timeline for, for the winter break of 2014 of moving kids into the new and renovated edition, and then we can start working on the um, renovation of the mill. Does anybody have any questions about the timeline? My question is, is the timeline of the advocate? Because I still seem to be a few of these kind of more questions about the timeline.
two days of the year. We are in continuous meetings right now with East Pennsylvania Elementary School throughout this process of um, planning. So we need to make sure that correct because I mean, it was just a meeting last week where we're showing them the documents, we're receiving input. We need their approvals throughout the process in order to go out to them on the date that we want to get. So we're receiving all kinds of input from neighbors and, yeah. and all of that. We will, I've informed the East Township Township Manager that this is coming down the road, but once we start construction for East Vincent, we will definitely be more involved with East Coventry. And we have talked about the enrollment projections, and every year when we do our enrollment projections, we are talking with the Township Managers and um, talking about what's in the pipeline for construction and all of those. This might be a better question for them, but if we're building a building a long-term construction project that estimates population growth of 10 percent, would they contemplate that in the other development and townships that they don't allow? Is that something they would look to and say, we've, we've allowed for a school district construction of a certain size, and it doesn't, does that, does it work? No. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. No. But should it? But should it? No, actually, the courts have already said you cannot um, project, you cannot put rules around the development based on what your schools can be. I mean, that's, that's, that's been around. Almost forever. Yeah. They, one of the problems that they have is that they, the Pennsylvania zoning law said that every municipality had to have every zoning in it. So there's no way to stop a, a very large apartment complex for the bottom right development. We were limited to uh, the first two days of practice on the 12th and 13th were helmets and short pads only with no contact. And the a.m. on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday we could be full gear, but we could not hit until Wednesday afternoon. This is a new state mandated. Uh, we had to develop our, our practice plan and procedure prior to and provide it to uh, Dr. Martini so that we would meet the PIA. Uh, our first home activity began on uh, the 17th 
where our high school field hockey play day, which is big. We had this year we had five teams here in North Penn, only Adam Grove, Unionville, and Donegal. Uh, our football team was at Radnor, and our girls' tennis team was at the end of noon. Uh, last week we really got into full swing, and uh, everybody participated. And starting tonight, uh, we're really in full swing. We have five teams in uh, with our girls' soccer here, using utilizing all three of our, our facilities. And uh, we start uh, league play for golf and for girls tennis this week in our first uh, football game we played on Friday night. So we're really excited about this week. Um, a little update for our, our coaching position update. Uh, looking uh, for still one coach for the seventh grade football. Feel confident we're, we are going to get underway, both the seventh and eighth grade. I have met with the coaches that we do have present ready to go. We're working on some paperwork, which I'll send over to, to uh, HR. As soon as we uh, get that going and feel very comfortable, I think we have like, four positions uh, that we get for the year. So, uh, total number, total number of athletes out of this fall. Yes, uh, we have an increase of a little over five percent. Uh, we have 303 athletes out for fall, uh, which is an increase, uh, I believe, like 16. And we have uh, 127 now uh, members of our marching band, which is an increase from last year of 100, from uh, 118. So we're really excited about the, the number of the participants. We'll be excited to see what we do in our next quarter. Mr. Sharp, you can also comment on the new sport at the middle school. Yes, we weren't happy to. Uh, it's a long time coming. I have uh, been looking to develop a cross-country program at the middle school for many, many, many years. And I will personally thank the school board directors who uh, they had the foresight to make it happen in, of course, the support of Dr. Christian. Uh, I can tell you right now, before we even start middle school, we already have 37 that are interested. So it, I think it's going to be a very exciting year for us. We uh, right now are, I believe it's five activities that we have scheduled for them. Uh, it's, I really look forward to it. Anything else? Any questions? Can I answer? Thank you very much. Thank you. 
out to make every resolution or just uh, I'm sorry, regulation, we just adopt the policies and sets. The difference would be you would bring it on an annual sense to separate because then it's easier to make a change, but it sounds like it's not necessarily a time critical change because we have no no stuff having students or we do. I thought we had students that are paying tuition. The only students that we have that would pay tuition would be students who um, whose parents are building in the district and there's an instruction contract. Now we made that if they're able to the district within the first six months, but if not, then they're paying tuition. And they pay based on the straight. Based on the straight. Yeah, I think we should separate. Mm -hmm. Mr. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. All right, so Mr. Kleinbaum, why don't you know that we should separate that to regulation and bring the, uh, the revised policy forward to the board for approval? All right, I make the motion that we take the game schedule and make that um, a regulation so that we can to a two A correct, yeah. and then uh, and then I make a motion. So we're at then are we going to have this for first reading tonight, or are we just okay? So, and then so I make a motion to um, move two point two on to the full board. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor, sir. Oh. I'm sorry. Could you repeat the second? That was coming down. Thank you.